I saw yesterday a big furry caterpillar. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so interesting because I feel like I'm the caterpillar that hasn't yet come the butterfly. You're describing a, a moment, a chapter in your life right now where almost everywhere you look, it's uncertain. You don't know where it's going to go. And yet there's still something in you that is present enough to notice the caterpillar. And I think a lot of the times what goes with uncertainty is that part of our being, our mind, draws us up and we're in a panic mode of sorts. And we're so worried about resolving the uncertainty because it's very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable to be in uncertainty. And so we're rushing, we're using all of our resources to try to, and we spin out and we don't even notice the caterpillar. There's something in you that you've cultivated that allows you to be present even in the midst of uncertainty and, and a really difficult time. How did you do that? How did you, how, why do you have that in you? How did you get that? Well, it's been really hard. I have to say, I know that all this is part of what I'm supposed to be learning. And so you kind of surrender to the learning and keep focusing. And I'm, I'm not perfect at this, but keep focusing on what you do have versus what you don't. So I can get into like, oh my God, my dad might die. But then yesterday I had this wonderful call with him and he asked me the same question like five times and that I've gotten to be really comfortable with and just, pre you know, just be present and just answer the question. Don't get irritated. Don't try to change the subject. Just let him ask the question over and over and over again. I read a really beautiful Facebook meme. It was like instructions to tape on the wall of my nursing home if I ever end up with dementia. And it was like, don't try to stop me from asking the same question over and over again. You know, indulge yeah. my, my the, the things that I'm saying that are not correct. And I was imagining a scenario where somebody did that with somebody who had dementia. And I was like, oh yeah, that would be a way more fun interaction. It doesn't, we're yeah. so stuck on trying to make things be the way that we think they should be that we forget to be with them the way that they are, which might actually be beautiful. Yeah, and that comes to, uh, you know, I used to do a lot of improv theater and the beauty of improv is it teaches you to be in the complete moment. And so let's say you are my partner in improv and you say, there's a purple elephant. I'm not supposed to say, no, it's green, which blocks the person and shuts down the connection and the flow. And instead I say, oh yeah, and it's wearing pajamas. And then you go from there, right? And so... It's like that figure eight flow that we're talking about and applies to my dad and to art. Yeah, using the obstacles. I put obstacles in quotes, using the obstacles as part of the flow.